Shoreham-by-Sea is an historic seaside town located in West Sussex. In recent years, it has become vulnerable to tidal flooding. There has been a significant example of a breach of the flood defences in Shoreham Airport in 2013, which required a significant uh, temporary repair. In addition to that, there have been examples locally of people's homes being flooding or certainly evidence of increasing flood risk to properties. In response, the Environment Agency carried out extensive research to determine the potential flood risk around the River Ader estuary. The result was a major improvement scheme called the Shoreham Ader Tidal Walls. The project has been funded by central government through the Environment Agency, with a contribution from project partners. We've also received partnership funding from the Coastal Capital Local Enterprise Partnership, Ader District Council and West Sussex County Council. After a rigorous tendering process, Team Van Ord was selected as the main contractor to carry out the works. Team Van Ord are one of our framework contractors. We have a long-standing relationship of working with them, delivering projects throughout the country and particularly in this part of the world. Well, we're constructing a new flood defence for the River Ada, uh, all the way from the entrance to the harbour right the way up to the A27 uh, on both the east and the west side banks. And that involves a variety of defences, um, including sheet piling, concrete walls and new flood embankments. We are installing uh, two and a half kilometres of sheet pile wall along the river banks. And on average, those sheet piles are around 10 metres long. And we've worked out that if we were to put those sheet piles end to end, there'd be enough to stretch from here to France. Um, the actual construction work started in August 2016 and we hope to be complete by the end of 2018. This is obviously a very large project which impacts on an awful lot of people, residents as well as businesses. Generally, I and people across Shoreham and Shoreham Beach can see the longer term benefit. Prevention is obviously better than cure and the longer term benefits are very well understood. Deborah Nutt manages the contract on behalf of the Environment Agency. The biggest challenge on the, this sort of project is working with um, all the local residents, the local authority, um, council, harbour. We call those stakeholders. Um, so working with them to make sure that we manage what their expectations are um, in line with what the project is. So my role is to manage that change, making sure that we balance the needs of the project um, with balancing the needs of the, the, the residents and the stakeholders along with the Environment Agency. So that's quite a challenge. The Shoreham scheme has been developed over more than 15 years, from strategy and design to planning permission and completion. The early stages of the project involved an awful lot of design, economic analysis, modelling and consultation, but the outcome of that process is what we have today. Uh, a project that will improve flood protection to over 2,300 homes and 130 businesses. Being involved early in the scheme allows the designers to engage with the local community, have their input to the design at an early stage, as well as looking for uh, environmental enhancements that we might also include within the scheme. The project is split into 10 separate sections, or reaches, each with a different environment and engineering solution. So we've got uh, lengths of the river that are sheet piled. We've got lengths of the river that have uh, rock revetment. Uh, we've got other lengths that require a concrete wall. Um, and then a large section by the airport, uh, what we call W7, that's a very long length of realigned flood embankment. And then uh, along Emerald Cree, we're providing a flood glass solution. In a small area, we have uh, a number of key constraints around uh, environments such as listed buildings, triple SIs, um, and we've used relatively standard solutions, but it's using them in an innovative way to ensure they fit within the local environment. We've got a dedicated uh, public liaison officer, uh, and we've got a visitor centre on site, which is open every afternoon for the public to drop in and uh, meet with Angela and ask any questions. Uh, we need to communicate through a wide range of different media to reach the people that we want to reach, be that direct mail letter drops, we have the project newsletter because not everyone is online, um, we have the project website, Facebook page, so all these items together we use to make sure that we're getting our messages out there to the community in Shoreham. So as part of the scheme we have had to close access to certain public footpaths which has been a concern for the community 
How we've managed that is that we've communicated such closures early and also put diversions in place to advertise alternative routes. Due to the amount of factors associated with this scheme, there are a number of control measures which need to be adopted with the public, with ecology and with the water environment that we're working in. So some of the examples there would be noise vibration monitoring for the members of the public to reduce the impact and also on the environment. In terms of ecology, for any vegetation uh, clearance we have ecologists present and to date we have over 1,000 reptiles relocated safely to a new area of shore which otherwise would be impacted on the scheme. I've been involved in the project for, for many years so I've, I've known about some of the real difficulties that the team are going to have to deal with to get this scheme completed and I've been really pleased at how they've worked together to deal with those challenges. You know, Some of the access to some of the locations have been really, really difficult but the team have planned the work really well, worked closely and engaged with the local community and I think that is a big part of the success of this scheme. W5 was a unique challenge. We needed to construct the new flood defence within two metres of 38 houseboats. We consulted with the residents for over a year to understand their needs. We modified the design to minimise disruption and maintain access. The end result is something we're really proud of. I do my job because I want to make an impact on people and communities. Um, I want to improve the quality of life for people and what better way is there to do that than work for the Environment Agency, building flood defences to protect people's homes. This is obviously a very major investment in Shoreham and Shoreham Beach. We're talking about £30 million which in times of austerity is very good news for the area and very good news for its future and for its future prosperity. Visually, people are also very happy with how the Ada Tidal walls look. For me, the success of any scheme is when it just blends into the landscape and you almost don't know that we've been there and constructed it. And I think Shoreham fits that bill really well. I think a lot of time and attention has been spent blending it into the landscape. A lot of uh, work has gone in on the design to come up with flint sections on the brick walls which blend in with traditional Sussex buildings in the, in the local area. And I think when you walk around the scheme now that it's finished, you almost don't know it's there. And I think that's a scheme that the team should be rightly proud of. Mm -hmm.